person in the mangroves and it, there were a lot of alligators in the area. So fire rescue came in a boat and they were able to move the body over to a safe location and now we've got the medical examiner on scene uh, trying to you know, determine what happened. So what's the challenge in this type of particular investigation? Well, as you know, it's, it's very, very hot, and anybody, unfortunately, that's in this heat and has been in the water for a while is going to suffer decomposition. So at this point, we're not able to tell you the gender or anything about the person and the victim, and we really have to wait for the medical examiner to give us a pretty good idea of the cause of death, and then maybe that'll help us determine what happened. And then Sankey Fire is still out there, right? What are they doing? Well, um, in a case like this, we, we definitely want to check the shoreline. So we've asked uh, Fire Rescue to go around in the boat to see if maybe there are any personal effects, a backpack, information, a wallet, anything that might still be on shore or have washed up on shore um, that would help us identify this person. And of course, we're asking anybody in the public if they saw anybody here in the last few days or if they come across anything as they're here for the 4th of July at the park to please contact us and let us know so that we can try to piece everything together and figure out who this is. And that's for your, to be clear, you're under no circumstances calling this a gator attack, no. correct? There, there's no way we can tell when the gators became involved. Um, this body is uh, decomposed because of the water and the weather and it's unless it would have to be a total medical examiner determination to tell whether the alligators came in before the person was deceased or afterwards. So at this time we cannot call it an alligator attack simply that there were alligators around the body when we found it and that made it a little more difficult in getting to it. And what happens next? Well, at this point, uh, Pinellas County Medical Examiner's on scene. They'll take the body and do all of their uh, reports and tests on it, and hopefully we'll get some other tips or we'll get some information that'll help us determine who this is. And just to, I mean, you weren't able to ID race, gender? No. No, and that's very typical in a case where a body has been in the water and in this heat. Uh, we know that the only thing we can say for sure is that this didn't happen this morning within the last few hours because of the condition of the body. But other than that, we really can't determine anything else until we finish with all the medical examiner's work. Okay. Thank you. Well, thanks. Sure. And you're